What is up everyone, I know it's been a while but I'm back with another PS4 mods video. I realise this is probably a bit late, because we're almost in the second month of 2019 already, however today we are going to look back at the 10 best mods that were released for Fallout 4 on PS4 throughout the whole of 2018. There are a few mods on this list that I never covered in my monthly series, and a few that some of you would have seen before. However, every single one of these mods should be in your load order. With all that said, let's just jump into it. First up at number 10 is Mad Rock by Madrox. Spoiler alert, you're going to see Madrox on this list a few times. This mod adds a terrifying new settlement to Fallout 4, located next to Billy's fridge. Make sure you head over to Mad Rock at night time for the best experience, and go ahead and explore. There are keys dotted across the old haunted monastery, which you will need to find to eventually make your way to the workbench to claim the monastery for your own and lift the haunted curse. The monastery is incredibly well designed, the architecture is brilliant, I had a great time exploring, it was challenging but not impossible, and parts of it were genuinely quite scary. I'm not ashamed to admit that it made me jump several times, which I didn't think would be possible with Fallout 4's engine, but somehow Madrox managed it. Once you've lifted the curse, you can invite your settlers to live in the giant monastery and you can start redeveloping it into a nice comfy home. Or you can keep the curse active and give your settlers a living hell. It's up to you. It's a fantastic mod that rolls a quest and a settlement all into one. It's worth downloading, even if you just want to explore it. Next up at number 9 is Immersive Fallout by Zana Daniel. Out of the many mods that contain the word immersive, this one definitely stands out. This mod overhauls a load of the game's mechanics to make it more realistic. One of the main changes is the effect it has on recoil. Ballistic weapons now have a much more dramatic and harder to control recoil, meaning that you really have to think when you're firing your automatic weapons and shoot in short bursts. However, laser weapons now have no recoil because light doesn't actually have mass, so there would be no kickback from the weapon. This gives them a hefty advantage over automatic ballistic weapons. Other changes include, humans now move much slower and different types of weapons will affect your mobility. For example, carrying a minigun will make you slower and carrying a deliverer will not slow you down. Sneaking is now slower, strafing is slower, aiming down sights will slow you much much more when you're walking around, power armour movement is modified to suit its weight, however, heavy weapons are more manageable when you're wearing power armour to sort of balance it up a little bit. Some creatures have been changed, most noticeably Deathclaws and Hounds are more agile and faster, however most creatures have been looked at and tweaked. There are even different editions of the mod in case you don't like some of the changes, such as movement only changes and recoil changes only. This is a great mod that I believe genuinely does improve the experience of playing Fallout 4 with changes that make logical sense. Next up is Overboss 357 Magnum by Omjack. This mod adds a brand new version of the Western Revolver to Fallout 4 with some very unique skins and modifications, and it even has its own scavenger hunt slash quest and lore. To get your hands on the Overboss Magnum, you first need to find it. The mod author instructs you to go to USAF Satellite Station Olivia to gain the first weapon. You can follow the hints at the locations to find the other four. It's a fun little scavenger hunt and I had fun trying to decipher the clues and figure out where all the guns were. The actual gun itself has overpowered aim and fire rate stats, however it has less damage and uses 10mm ammo. It's a very powerful weapon and is meant for end game use. It has some very unique modification options, including a bunch of unique skins that all look really nice, allowing you to put your own style on the weapon. And it has a new modification section called Overboss, which is where you can add some really interesting legendary modifications, such as Boost, which gives you plus 40% more experience gain and plus 15% movement speed, Multi-Shot, which adds 4 projectiles without recoil penalties, however reduces damage while standing and not moving by 25%, Penetration, which adds 100% armor penetration and wounds the target, Powerful, which adds 50% more damage and 50% bonus damage against humans, Rapid, which greatly improves fire rate, 50% faster reload and greatly stabilized recoil and weapon spread, Relentless, which refills your action points on a critical hit and has infinite ammo, and critical bar fills up 45% faster. And finally, Vats, which improves Vats hits chance and improved range, 15% less action point cost, and double critical damage. 
This is a really good weapon mod that comes with its own story, unique skins, and a whole host of new modification options, which is about all we can ask for from a PS4 weapon mod. If you want to try out a new fun and powerful weapon for your endgame character, give this mod a try. At number 7 we have Mad Kia by Madrox. This mod adds 500 new workshop items to your game, and as you could probably tell by the name of the mod, all of the designs are heavily inspired by the kind of furniture you would find in an IKEA store. The 500 objects are spread across the workshop menu, however most of them can be found under furniture, decoration and display tabs. There is even a showroom that can be found on the east side of Walden Pond, so you can try before you craft. Since I last reviewed this mod, it has become a settlement location with three settlers that have been attending the warehouse. Plants have also been moved from decoration to display. All of these new items look great and clearly a lot of work went into this mod to give us a ridiculous amount of items to create the perfect settlement. It's a fantastic mod that adds an incredible amount of items, much much more than any of the other workshop DLCs, so massive respect to Madrox for making this mod for us to use for free. Up at number 6 is Clean and Smooth by Oki1682. All the way back in 2016, Oki started work on a project to clean and declutter every single settlement in Fallout 4 to make them clean and smooth. This gives you a clean slate to do exactly what you want with the settlement without being restricted by junk that you can't scrap. In December of 2018, the project was finally complete so you can now get all 30 settlements cleaned up in one giant mod. All garbage, leaves and things like that have been completely removed and the land was smoothed out for easier building. Oki paid special attention to leave all of the game triggers intact and in their proper locations so that the game can play out just as Bethesda intended. Any other things left inside the settlement borders have had the coding added to allow you to scrap them and remove them after taking control of the settlement. Oki also removed all of the dirt and grime off of the settlers who move into your area, so it looks like they remembered how to bath and clean themselves with a proper home. Resource containers have also been added to each area to compensate for all of the removed items from before. All unique settlers have been given proper names and not the generic settler name. Coding was also added for the Boston airport so that you can recruit your own settlers instead of just Brotherhood of Steel members. Oki also added the coding to allow you to build everything inside home plate and an all new nav mesh was placed to make sure everyone can move around freely. At the halfway stage we have the unofficial Fallout 4 patch by Arthmore. We all know that bug Thesda games are full of annoying bugs that can sometimes stop you from completing quests, break your immersion, break objects in the game and so on. This mod is a comprehensive bug fixing mod that aims to eventually fix every single bug in Fallout 4 not officially resolved by the developers Bethesda, to the limits of the creation kit and community developed tools in one easy to install package. You just have to have a quick scroll through the ridiculously long patch notes to see how gigantic this mod is and just how much it fixes. There are hundreds of gameplay quest, NPC, object, item, text and placement bugs fixed. This is a must have mod if you haven't downloaded it yet, make sure you do next time you load up Fallout 4. At number 4 is Sanctuary Estates by Madrox. Sanctuary Estates is an overhaul of Sanctuary Hills that adds an entire modern housing complex with several houses, a workshop, trading posts, modern gardens and more. There are even moving parts spread around the settlement. Since January of 2018, Madrox has created five versions of his Sanctuary Estates mod, the original version, a clean version, an institute version, a Brotherhood of Steel version, and a Minutemen version, and every single one of them is brilliant. At number three, we have Military Clutter by Osa2P. I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Somehow, I managed to miss this mod in my top 5 mods of April video, so I'm really happy to be able to cover this mod now and realise that I seriously messed up because this mod is fantastic. The mod adds various crates, single and stacked, of mines, grenades, missiles, sniper rifles, fat men, fusion cores and cells, weapon cabinets, ammo shelves, clutter, rifle and melee weapon racks, and much more military themed settlement items. All of the items can be easily found under furniture miscellaneous. 
If you're looking to turn a settlement into a military base, this mod is an absolute must have. I often have a storage room for my characters where I stash all of my guns and armour, and this mod allows me to make that room look so much better with some awesome decorations. The penultimate mod on this top 10 list is Maple Manor Player Home by xxxsync 8 This is by far my favourite player home mod release for Fallout 4 in 2018. This mod doesn't just add a new player home, it's so much more than that. So let's get into it. To get inside the Maple Manor, you need to find a bypass keycard to stop the turrets from targeting you. If you have a look around the walls of the house, you'll find a bunch of dead idiots who just tried to walk up to the house and got obliterated by the turrets. You can even inspect them and you'll get a little message with some details on who they might have been, which is really neat. There is a long drive leading up to the house and even a purified pond at the back of the house if you want to go for a skinny dip or have a little drink. The outside of the house has some really nice potted plants, a little crafting area with some power armor stands and armor workbench. There is even a garage which you will need a key card to get into, which can be found under the welcome mat by the front door. The garage features a unique chemistry station which can be used to craft a special form of fertilizer. Upon entering the house, it's a dark dingy mess with broken ceilings, boarded up windows and boxes of junk littering the floors. You will need to use the workshop to scrap the junk, remove the boards from the windows to let the light in, and even repair some of the house's utilities, such as the unique griddle, which you will need to repair before you can use it to cook anything. Once you have repaired the house, it will look fantastic. It will be clean, full of light, and very homely. It even features a fish tank with living fish in it, which is quite impressive considering those fish must be over 200 years old. The features of the house once you've repaired everything includes a motorbike in the garage that can take you to and from Diamond City even in survival mode, a detailed backstory that explains a lot for those who like things that fit into the Fallout world, a skylight window that can be opened and closed at the touch of a button, a unique kitchen built from scratch, toy models that you can press to play sounds, an upright piano that can be played, a fireplace that casts omnidirectional shadows, a standing bathroom mirror for changing your hair, a clean untarnished bathtub, multiple sinks that dispense fresh water, windows with a view, fresh black coffee, maple sap buckets that can be drained for sap and turned into maple syrup at a cooking stove, and even a random toilet seat that you can immersively sit on. I've never been so immersed in my life. There are a few secret areas, including a hidden office with experimental elements, weapons workbench, hidden guns cabinet, a unique legendary weapon, and a terminal with a bunch of lore and backstory for the house, and a hidden underground cave which you can explore to find some really cool interactive features. You can also craft fresh crop planters in other settlements that allow you to grow and can fresh food, which you need the special fertilizer which you can craft using the unique chem station in the garage. All of the workbenches are linked except for the workshop, and there are a bunch of custom storage containers found inside and outside Maple Manor to store your hordes of weapons, armor, junk, etc. If all of that wasn't enough, the mod also adds every song from the different radio stations in the game. You can find all of the classical radio songs in the Maple Manor, the Diamond City radio songs in Travis's trailer, the Minutemen radio songs in the Castle Tunnels, and the Good Neighbor songs in the Third Rail next to Magnolia. As if this mod couldn't get any better, we're not even finished there, because most of the unique furniture and decorations found within Maple Manor are craftable for use in your own settlements. Well, I think it's quite easy and safe to say that this is the best player home mod for Fallout 4 on PS4. Everyone needs to download this mod, why wouldn't you? At number 1 we have my favourite and the most popular mod on Fallout 4 in 2018, Skillzerk Weapons Pack by Skillzerk. This mod adds over 100, yes you heard that right, 100 new weapons to Fallout 4 loot lists, vendors, NPCs, and chem station crafting. When I first reviewed this mod back in May, there were only 19 weapons and I managed to show off all of them. I'm sorry to say that I'm not going to be able to go into detail on all 100 weapons this time. Sorry about that. So in summary, the weapons include several new throwing weapons including rocks, explosives, and pokeballs, several new melee weapons including chain blade swords, chainsaws, photon swords, and halbreds, several new guns including an Uzi, sniper rifles, assault rifles, and a grenade launcher, 
new non-lethal guns and weapons such as sleep mines, tranquilizer rounds, flashbangs and even a taser, several new and original equipment modifications such as air receiver to push enemies or different ammo receivers, 5mm pistol and more. And finally, several new weapons and hybrids to craft including sleeper and exotic rounds. No DLC is required, you may see them being used by the enemy, they will be in vendor inventory sometimes, you may find them in loot containers, the items act like any other common weapon in the game, these are completely new weapons and do not replace or overwrite anything. You can understand why this is the most popular mod on PS4 in 2018, quite frankly it's a masterpiece and you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't download it. That will take us to the end of the video, I do hope you enjoyed it or found it helpful in some way, if you did please leave a like and hit subscribe and click the notifications bell button next to the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to help me make more and better videos, consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll see you in the next video, good luck out there in the wasteland.